when I moved to Taiwan, I had a three year plan to move back to the States. Wow. And just like that, the entire trip is basically done. Have you guys ever been homesick? Due to the pandemic, my life has really started slowing down. And it's made me start to miss home. I come from a close family and would never have imagined myself moving abroad. Sometimes remind myself of the promise that I never kept with my mom. And how much I really miss my family. This is my dad! And, uh, yes. It's gone! Uh, I guess the steak. Okay. It's it's You burnt it! You're Where is this footage from? Three years ago, I went back to the US. This series is amongst one of my top five favorites. It's sentimental. It's a memory. It's all I have to show you of what matters most to me. Hey. 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 on my toe. <laughs> the best thing that I've ever done cuz Logan is weird. The last video of this series, I never completed it because I didn't want it to end. Oh. Yeah. So, everything around there is so nice. Yeah. Welcome to Utah. Huh? Have you been to Salt Lake City before? Uh, no, but, but I can't talk now. Do you know about the Church of Latter-day Saints? Utah is located in the Midwest of the United States and is surrounded by mountains, deserts, and salt. The move from Utah to Taiwan was a night and day difference. I went from a freezing mountainous desert to a tropical island nation that sits in the East China Sea. Utah is a big mass of nothing. It's six times the size of Taiwan, and compared to Taiwan's 23.5 million, Utah has a minuscule population of three and a half million. So what is the rest of the land for? What's there? Deserts, plateaus, red rocks, national parks. Utah has a terrain unlike anywhere else in the world. We're talking canyons to mesas. And one of the biggest salt seas and salt flats in the world. And don't forget about the winter. The best snow in the world. Well, today's my last day in America. Let's make it count. So it's been about two and a half years since I played golf. Uh, I'm a bit rusty, but uh, let's get going. There we go. go. Okay. There you go. Do it. What club are you playing right now? I better go nine. But I'll be the first to admit, I'm not the best. Yeah. This is what my house looks like. Much different than Taiwan. And the view from the rooftop is stunning. And only a kilometer away from my house is what Utah is all about. This is Antelope Island. It is surrounded by the Great Salt Lake and is a place that looks like something right out of the Wild West movie. Loads of wildlife, including one of the largest herds of bison, and an endless view of salt. It's so salty, you actually float when you go in the water. It's kind of crazy, but it stinks horrible, so I'm not going in there. Also, because it's so salty, there's lots of dead things around here, and there's these tiny little flies. There's like a thousand of them all around my body. So we're actually going to head back up there. Actually, just look at this place. Absolutely beautiful. I know, I know. You guys came here for the food. The best food in Utah is the Mexican food. Ay, 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 senor! Me jam one sweat! Rito Texano! This is no good, guys! Don't forget about America's legendary truck night. A rip-off to night markets. Ready, pepperoni? Two minutes walk in there and just gave them the money. I got a large pizza! Five dollar pizza! And of course, traditional American breakfasts are simply to die for. Did I mention we have tons of fresh cheese? We are now at one of my very favorite restaurants here in Utah. It's not even American food, it is Islander food, is it not, Mom? Yes, it is. So it's got chicken, it's got some tortilla strips. These tacos, I, I like it. Will you I'll smack the lens for me? Well, I what? Smack the lens for me, you just gotta hit the... 
We are back in Salt Lake City. You see, Salt Lake City is one of my very favorite places in Utah, especially Temple Square. And we decided for our very last day here in America, here in Utah, we just had to come here. What's up, guys? Welcome to Salt Lake City. Uh. It's the biggest town here in Utah, but it's still small. Temple Square happens to be the number one tourist attraction all over Utah, mainly because of this temple. What is that? Chick-fil-A. Have you guys been on this before? Taiwan. <laughs> no, 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 not a time. No, have you been on the one in Utah before? No. Food, outdoor malls. Utah is home to an NBA team known as the Utah Jazz to Chinatown. It's actually a small little place, like, it's not too big. All of you know that I am a religious guy. I'm LDS, also known as Mormon, and so is the rest of the state of Utah. Therefore, all along Utah, you can see some beautiful churches as well as some beautiful temples. Otherwise, Dad, we have ice cream right there, huh? Heck yeah. And Jared, how how's the drones going? It's good. <laughs> Is it good, Nate? It's uh, awesome. This is a Mormon temple. There are over 14 of these scattered across the state of Utah. And they serve as a religious beacon to those who follow the faith. Three years ago, I was a devout member. But this is another part of home I have given up. Due to controversial church history and doctrine, a difference in social standards and ethics, and pressure under religious manipulation and pain, I have chosen a new path for myself and couldn't be happier. I am no longer religiously Mormon or affiliated with the church anymore, but it will always be a part of my culture and who I am. To me, these temples represent Utah, my home. Rock, I'm going to Miss Portrata. Oh my man. Are you coming to Taiwan with me this time? No, I'm not. And I'm sad. Brock, are you coming with me? Nope. Shoot. Who's <laughs> doing so bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's coming my way. This is the worst. Hot pot. Wow. And just like that, the entire trip is basically done. I'm just taking a breather right now. This is kind of crazy. This is heading back to Taiwan, but there's always this weird feeling. Not weird, but empty feeling about leaving home. I've had this video sitting around my hard drive floating back and forth, seeing if I wanted to edit it, and I finally found some time and a reason to do so. I wanted to share with you some of my struggles, but also some of my reasoning, and some of the things going on in my head. Truth be told, when I initially moved to Taiwan, I had a three-year plan to move back to the States, but it was within my first year of living here that I realized that plan would never happen. In order to be homesick, you have to be away from home. And although I live in Taiwan, strangely enough, I feel more at home here than I do in the States. Taiwan is my home. So I'm not homesick. It's my family, my friends, the scenery, the Mexican food that I miss. Sour cream in here, we got potatoes, we got some beef of some sort, but my brother and I do the craziest thing. After we take a bite of the burrito, we'll actually take a big swig of the hot sauce. So that's why I'm actually, normally I like to eat hot sauce because my brother trained me right. So when is the next time I will visit the United States? Well that, I'm not quite sure. It could be three to four years. In the fall, my parents are moving to Guam for two years and without my parents in America, there's not a huge motivator to go back. Home is not a location, it's a feeling. Home is where you make it. No, 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 home is where you make it. This video was made for myself rather than anyone else. It's hard being away from things you love. But what is life without difficulties or challenges? What is life when you're not in charge creating your own? There isn't one right way, one right culture, one right religion, or one right lifestyle for everyone. Your path in life is meant to be paved by yourself. It's okay to leave things behind, people, tradition, and religion. Just never forget them and how they help you grow in life. 
This video was a way for me to cope and vindicate with my struggles and new reasonings. And hopefully I can help other people as well. Do you like s'mores? They are a tradition. They are good. Yes. How was it taste? Do you move? Is it good? Yeah. What does it taste like? It tastes like a s'more. The gooeyness and crunchiness that tastes like goodness. Maisie, where's yours? I don't like to cook mine. I just ate a marshmallow and a graham cracker, but I didn't. Do you want me to make you one? No, I don't like it cooked. Duh. I mean, couldn't you hear me? Until next time, I'll see you in America! America.